Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. So we all know February 14th is a special day because it's... Yes, my birthday! <laughs> but most of you will probably know this day as Valentine's Day. And last year I bought my girl a necklace. But this year I wanted to make her a special gift. Something that I made myself. That's how I came up with the idea to make a tree that she could use to store her jewelries. The tree itself is made from plywood and the base is made from oak. And at the base I also made a little box that she could use to store her earrings. I hope you enjoyed the video. Smash, smash, smash that like button if you do so. And subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any future videos. Thanks for watching. Here I'm using my table saw to cut two pieces to length. Then I will use my planer to make sure I have a flat bottom on the piece. Transforming the planer into a thickness planer. Spraying some silicone spray will make sure the wood slides easily along the surface. Here I'm using my scroll saw to cut out the base for the tree and also the little heart shape. This piece of oak is pretty hard and pretty thick for this blade. That's what she said. And as you can see, it left some burning marks. So I'm using my Dremel tool and a small sanding disc to remove the burn spots. my router to round out the edges inside the heart. to cut out the two circles. Here I'm drawing the heart shape on a little piece of felt so I can cut it out and glue it into place when the piece is finished. With the use of a sanding disc on my lathe I can sand towards the lines on the circle.
Here I'm using my router to make the edges flush with the other piece. And as you can see, the bit wasn't very sharp anymore, so I used my sanding disc to remove the burn spots. Here I'm rounding over the edges from the base. Now it's time to cut out the tree. For this I'm using my scroll saw. To be able to cut out the inside, I need to drill a couple of holes where I can insert the saw blade. First I'm starting off with painting the heart. For this I'm using some regular spray paint. Then I taped off the heart so I could paint the branches or veins of the heart. If you're wondering why I'm in the greenhouse, it was quite windy that day, so that's why. <laughs> that the piece is finished I can glue in the little filled heart. I'm using some contact glue for this and waiting about 5 minutes for it to dry before applying the filled heart. Alright, final step, gluing in the tree and then we're done.
I wanted to make my girlfriend's girl friend. No, and the base is made from oak, 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 oak that she could use to store her jewelry, jewelries. A couple of jewelry, jewelries over the year, over the year. Oh, my God. A couple of jewelry lease. <laughs> mm. Yeah. <laughs>